Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to go to black-cat-comics.com and pick up something fun to read. It's a big week packed with great stuff. Some of my favorite titles, some of your favorite titles. Probably the biggest week we've seen in a long, long time, which is a ton of fun. Always love to start these videos with Action Comics, Detective Comics, and Wonder Woman, the great trinity of comics. Always like to go through that a couple of times. Action Comics, the book that started it all. Superman, a lot going on with the super books these days. A little more to talk about in just a minute. Detective Comics, the one that launched Batman. Always a big week for this guy. More Batman to talk about. Everybody should have Detective on their list. If you're just reading Batman, you're missing a really awesome Bat title. And Wonder Woman, like I say, the great trinity of comics. Three books that every superhero fan should have on their list. Certainly every DC fan should have on their list. I said there was a lot more Batman to talk about. Batman Superman, number 20. One of my favorite, favorite books rolling out right now. Great stories, great art. Uh, Ivan Rice, Reese, however you say it. The guy is just amazing, and the art on this book is amazing. The story is really awesome. Cool, multiversal thing going on. Uh, pick up number 16 and catch up to this week's number 20. Read more about this one in the newsletter. you got to have this one on your list. Demons in this one this time. Great, great stuff. Batman Reptilian, one of your Black Label books this week with some, again, amazing art by Black Cat favorite Liam Sharp. We love some Liam Sharp. You love some Batman. Make sure that one makes it into your stack this week. Secret Files Huntress. The Huntress is uh, one of my many favorite Bat characters. I remember picking up uh, her very first appearance when I was just a wee lad and following her adventures ever since. Love these Secret Files one-shots. Always talking up the one-shots and the specials and the annuals. I like self-contained stories. Robin number four. One of DC's newer titles, but this one has been red hot, selling out every single issue. Pick up uh, the first three, grab this one. A lot going on in Robin, along with all the Bat books. Harley Quinn, sort of a Bat title, because, well, there's a Bat guy there, right there on the cover. And, of course, a little more Superman to talk about. The first issue of Superman, Son of Kal-El. Has Jonathan Kent taken over the reins while uh, his dad is out in space having adventures? And Wonder Woman Black and Gold. Told you they were the three, the great trinity of comics. Lots of Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman to pick up this week. Loving this Black and Gold. Grab the first issue. Grab this week's number two. Sort of an anthology story. Let me show you a little. Sort of like Superman, Red and Blue, and some of the other things they've been doing. It's all Black and Gold in there for a Steeler fan like me. Great stuff. Can never have enough books with Wonder Woman. Infinite Frontier launches a new Black Lantern. Everybody into the Black Lanterns. Make sure that one gets into your stack. This is sort of the sleeper hit this week, I think. And Checkmate from my man Brian Michael Bendis. Good stuff there. Green Arrow working his way back into the DCU. Icon and Rocket. First issue from uh, the second relaunch of Milestone, which everybody's super excited about. And then Strange Adventures. Speaking of super excited, love me some Adam Strange. Love me some Tom King. You know we talk up anything Tom King. And Other History of the DCU. It's your other Black Label Book of the Week. One of those big, oversized, magazine-style comics. Like a lot of the Black Label stuff. Again, pick up the first issue if you've missed them. Catch up to this week's Big, big week for the DC guys. Big week for the Marvel guys. I told you some of my favorite, favorite titles. Fantastic Four, number 34. The FF really is one of the best books out there right now. Marvel's got a lot of great titles rolling, a lot of sort of back-to-basics going on. If you loved any era of one of their titles, now's a good time to jump in. Like Fantastic Four, this Bride of Doom stuff has been a whole lot of fun. Empire before that was a whole lot of fun. Like I say, FF is as good as it's ever been, and one of my favorite titles always has been. If uh, you haven't checked out FF in a long time, pick up this week's issue and you'll see what I'm always talking about. The Bride of Doom, for crying out loud. Daredevil, number 32. Another book I talk up all the time. Another book is as good as it's been in a long, long time. Much like the FF, Marvel's had its top talent on this book for as long as I can remember. So if you're not following Daredevil, you're missing out on some great action adventure. And Amazing Spider-Man number 71. 
continues the uh, Sinister War stuff going on from uh, the last issue number 70 and spinning out into that Sinister War mini. Another book I've been talking up like crazy. Spencer's run on Spider-Man has been so much fun. So uh, again, jump into this issue if you haven't been following Spidey and or pick up some Symbiote Spider-Man. This is uh, the third or fourth Symbiote series from my man Peter David. Love me some Peter David. Black Cat gets her turn with the Infinity Gauntlet this week. That's always fun. Of course, we're Black Cat Comics, so we always talk up Felicia and her awesome adventures. Cable and Wolverine are your X-Books for the week. Everybody loves Wolverine, unless you count Sword starting off the uh, final, or the last Annihilation. I love the old Annihilation stuff. If you go back about 10 years to that big outer space stuff, that's now creeping into the MCU. Shang-Chi, the master of Kung Fu, and the Eternals are your uh, MCU movie star books of the week. Everybody looking forward to Shang-Chi. Everybody looking forward to this Eternals movie. If you don't know much about the Eternals, pick up the trade paperback that's got the original Jack Kirby stuff. Pick up the trade paperback from Neil Gaiman because anything Neil Gaiman is awesome. Or just jump into the latest series because it's been great. Amazing Fantasy is a cool anthology book. This is the first issue. Uh, taking a look at some of your favorite Marvel characters in their most classic era. Uh, Cap fighting Nazis and Black Widow as a Soviet spy, etc., etc. Always encouraging folks to grab those first issues and see what that's all about. United States of Captain America number two follows up on that red hot sold out first issue. Captain Falcon cruising the country, having adventures. And here's your Star Wars sweep of the week. Star Wars number 15. Last week I was talking up Darth Vader as uh, maybe the best of the Star Wars books. This is, of course, your core title. Probably either first or second best of the whole bit. But you should be following Star Wars and Darth Vader, Dr. Aphra, the War of the Bounty Hunters miniseries. Great time to be a Star Wars fan, along with Star Wars High Republic. This is uh, sort of self-contained, doesn't uh, cross over with any of the other books, so that makes it fun, kind of the deep history of the Star Wars universe. Great week for the Marvel guys. Good week for everybody else, too. Really nice week for our friends at Dark Horse. How about Gru meets Tarzan? Here's two of the greatest characters of all time, teaming up and having some hilarious adventures. Of course, it's drawn by the number one legendary Sergio Aragonas. We love some Sergio. Really miss seeing Sergio at Comic-Con. Can't wait to uh, for the world to get back to normal so we can go down and uh, hang out with the great Sergio Argonis. Got to pick up some Gru and Tarzan this week. The Witcher is your other Dark Horse book of the week because you love everything Witcher. Department of Truth is your image book of the week. One of the many, many red-hot new books that they have, uh, like this one, like Geiger, like Noctera, on and on and on the list has always gone. Everybody should have an image book on their list, at least three image books on their list. And that's been the case ever since Spawn number one. This is Spawn number 320. One of the original image titles still rolling out, still as popular as ever, still taking comics by storm. And uh, get ready for King Spawn if you're a Spawn fan. TMNT Annual for 2021 is your IDW Book of the Week. Everybody loves the mighty TMNT. As I mentioned earlier, I love the uh, giant-sized annuals, those cool self-contained one-shots. Sonya Versal is your Dynamite Book of the Week. Always talking up Sonya and Vampirella, Deja Thoris, all the great stuff that Dynamite does. Huge week for the Boom Studios, guys. How about some Berserker? You've been waiting for Berserker number four. Probably uh, no bigger independent comic these days than Berserker. Or maybe Firefly, that's your Whedonverse book of the week. Or maybe Dune gets a new number one, a second series from the great sci-fi classic Dune. Big week for the Boom Studios, guys. Like all the publishers I talk about, everybody should have a Boom Studios book on their list. The Resistance is your AWA book of the week. Been talking up some AWA, some of the top, top talent in comics like J. Michael Straczynski, one of the great writers of TV and comics and all things in English. And Swamp God is your heavy metal book of the week. Did you know heavy metal also makes comics? 
Yes, they do that awesome magazine. Latest issue came out last week. They also have a whole line of cool uh, genre fusion horror sci-fi fantasy books like Swamp God by Ron Mars. You love Ron Mars, so pick up some Swamp God. And last but not least, Archie and Friends Summer Vacation, just in time to wrap up July. And Looney Tunes doesn't get any more classic than Looney Tunes. Those are your all-ages books of the week. Great, great weeks. Giant stack of stuff. Check those shipping lists. Go to black-cat-comics.com. Take a look at all the books and uh, pick them up. Read them through the week and tune in on Saturday. We'll talk about them on Comic Shop Talk Live. Don't forget this Friday, 6 p.m., Facebook, YouTube, Kazi's Classics. Going to talk uh, some great old books from the eras gone by. Friday, 6 p.m., tune in for that. That's all we got for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.